Experimental drugs are gaining traction to treat those COVID-19 patients. PJ Green looked into this treatment for us, so PJ, it can't be used for people who are hospitalized? That's right, Daryl. Monoclonal antibody treatment is only authorized for mild cases in patients 12 and up. And while that may not seem like much, health officials say it is working. When President Donald Trump battled COVID-19 last October, he received several drugs and therapies, including dexamethasone and remdesivir. President Trump also received the same treatment that Texas Governor Greg Abbott is receiving right now, monoclonal antibody treatment from biotech company Regeneron Pharmaceuticals. Vaccines, your immune system does all the work to produce the antibody. The monoclonal antibodies are already prepared. They're pre-engineered. Regeneron's treatment was approved last November. The antibodies in the treatment are designed to neutralize the virus by blocking viral attachment and entry into human cells. McBroom says this treatment has been working at United Regional. We've been using it fairly regularly and with, I think, good success. But sadly, there were some uh, individuals, even some friends of mine, that uh, we couldn't uh, we couldn't get it early enough, and they had a bad course. Even Some even died from it. While these treatments are showing that they work, they are still only under emergency use authorization, which is not the same as FDA approval. And health officials say vaccines are still the best fight against COVID. Uh, your body kind of experiments with antibodies that, that in continually improve its uh, protection. So hopefully the, the vaccination will continue to adapt at the same rate that the virus does. But for COVID patients with mild cases, monoclonal antibody treatment is worth trying. So it's immediate. And to get it early enough, within uh, 72 to 120 hours, it's probably going to have a pretty good, pretty good chance of uh, being effective. New treatments that are giving a little more hope to the masses during the pandemic. Now the treatment is available at United Regional's outpatient center. The whole process takes about two hours, and patients are advised to consult with their primary physician before going forward with the treatment. All right, PJ, we haven't heard too much about the treatment for COVID, so that was very interesting. All right, thanks so much.